Hi, this is Judy from Mid Counties Co-op. I'm going to show you how to do a very simple recipe, very tasty. It's corned beef and sweet corn fritters. So what we need to do first is to prepare the onions. So just take off the top and the bottom. And then cut in half. Put the flat side down on the work surface and just cut through, turn around so it's nice and small. Okay, we're going to put that into a fry frying pan with a little bit of oil. And we're going to cook that gently for about eight minutes until it's nice and soft. Try not to colour it. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. So just peel the potatoes there. Okay, do all the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. And you're going to pop these all together in a pan of cold water and bring it to the boil until the potatoes are cooked, which will be 15 to 20 minutes. So potatoes is cut into pieces and the same with the sweet potato so you don't have to be too precise about this because it's all going to be mashed anyway with the corned beef So that's some we prepared earlier. Pop that into a pan of cold water with all the potatoes and then bring that to the boil for about 20 minutes. So the potatoes and the sweet potatoes are now soft. We're now going to drain those really well and mash them. So that's the well-drained mashed potato, sweet potato. And while they're still hot, give them a lovely mash them all together. A lovely yellow colour, yellowy orange from the sweet potato. We're going to add the fried onions to the mashed potato and sweet potato. We're going to open the tin of corned beef. Best way to do this is to remove the key. And there's a little tab that you pop the key in and then very carefully turn it round. Okay, when we've gone all the way around, very carefully, because that's going to be sharp now, take the top from the bottom, whichever comes out easiest, and 
and then we need to remove the corned beef from the tin just a little knife and to ease it out like so again be careful of the rim of the tin because that's very very sharp and you can scrape off any bits of fat that are on the top there if you wish and then cut the corned beef into quarters and halves then you can cut the corned beef into pieces and pop into the mashed potato sweet potato and onions so the sweet corn Open your tin of sweet corn, just make sure any of the liquid is drained out, you don't want that liquid in there, you just want the sweet corn. So just give that um, corned beef mash into the potato before you add the sweet corn. So you can use your masher again. So you don't have to do it too fine, you can have chunky bits of corned beef in there or you could go smooth if you wish. I quite like to have a little bit of bite in that. So take over with the spoon and then we're going to add that drained sweet corn. And this is where you're not going to mash the sweet corn in, you're just going to stir it in. Okay, now put that to one side until it's cool enough to handle. And then we're going to prepare the uh, coating, which is basically flour, egg and breadcrumbs. So just uh, break a couple of eggs into a bowl and give it a little beating A little bit of the flour that came in your parcel. And we also have some dried breadcrumbs in your pack. Just put a good bit of that on there. So once this is cool enough to handle, make sure your hands are clean. And then just put a little bit of flour on your work surface. And then you're going to very carefully make little pâtés, tossing it in the flour. Like so. Okay, you might need a little bit of flour a little bit of extra flour just so that they stick together and squeeze them okay like so and then you're going to leave them to stand for maybe five minutes just so that they set up a little bit so while those are standing for a few minutes we're just going to put a little bit of oil hot oil which will seal it off, do a little bit of a production line so we've got flour, egg and breadcrumbs. 
So I just form them into nice sized pâtés. So do that with all of them. So it's a little bit soft, so you need to be quite, quite um, gentle with this. Once the breadcrumbs are on, it's a lot easier to handle. This makes about eight. So these are just the first four. Just make sure there's flour on it. Shape as you go. And then make sure the egg is all on that because that's what will make the breadcrumbs stick. And then again, when it's in the breadcrumbs, it... so when your oil is hot, very carefully pop your corned beef pâtés into there. You should hear a little bit of a sizzle. And that's good because it means that the outside is sealing. I just sort of shape them as you pop them in gently. So this is a medium to high heat so that it seals. Don't put too many in the pan at one time because you need to keep that temperature quite hot so that it seals. And do each side possibly for about a few minutes and then turn them over. So after a few minutes we flip them over very carefully. You can see they've gone crisp on one side and we just need to repeat that on the other side. For a few minutes on medium to high heat there. And then you can either leave them like that on there or just finish them off in the oven for about 10 minutes while you prepare something to go with it, maybe a green salad and baked beans. So just pop in the oven for about 15 minutes just to make sure they're hot throughout. So we've just finished off the first four in the oven. You don't have to, as long as you can do it gently on the frying pan, that's fine. So basically we have there uh, corned beef, and sweet corn fritters. You've got sweet potato and potato in. Ideal to serve with some baked beans and a lovely bit of salad, mixed salad there. Okay. So there you have your corned beef and sweet corn fritters served on the side, baked beans and a mixed salad. Thank you very much for watching.